Here we have a form called maintenance work order. It contains a subform called work required with an image and text field. This currently allows the user to enter a single image and description needed to fix the issue. If you'd like the user to add multiple images with descriptions, they'll need to use a repeat group. This allows the user to add as many repeat group items as they like. After making the change, save the form. We currently have a custom template set up for this form, so we'll need to adjust this to accommodate the new repeat group. Head to your destinations page and click to edit the destination with your custom template. In step two, download your custom template if you have one. Now let's add a new table to the word template. After inserting your table, select it, then right click to access the table properties. Click on options and make sure automatic resizing is unchecked. This will help standardize your layout, especially when adding your placeholders. Now finish customizing your table. Click the Show Me Placeholders button and scroll down to your new repeat group placeholders. Here you will see your question placeholders as well as a for loop start and a for loop end. Your question placeholders will need to stay in between the start and end in order to populate on the report. Let's add these to our template. We'd like each repeat group item to populate its own table row. First place the for loop start in the first column then add your placeholders and lastly place your for loop end in the last column after the last placeholder. It is also possible to add automated numbering to your repeat group items. Simply add the numbering function before or after the for loop start. Another method of adding a repeat group with the same result is to split the table and add the for loop start over the table row and the for loop end below the row. Please note that the for loop start and end will either both need to be inside the row or both outside the table in order to work. Make any last formatting edits, save the file and upload it to your destination. Let's make a new submission and take a look at our new report.